What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to break it down for you and go over the data points behind the scenes with Lucid and how big money is secretly and have been secretly buying behind the scenes. So I want to give you a good overview of that and potentially just put it in perspective how this might be a very good golden opportunity for investing in a very good company. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So currently Lucid is down about three quarters of a percent, but the broader market is just in panic mode right now. And as you can even see based on the fear and greed index is currently at 27. I do anticipate it to get a little bit worse back into the extreme fear the closer we get to the 22nd, which is the Fed's next interest rate decision. So most likely that might be 50 basis points. So once again, just keep that in perspective or at least in your mind at least. But like I said, over the last little bit, a lot of big money has in fact been buying, even though technically the Q4 earnings wasn't necessarily the best. And even though there is a lot of negative articles coming out, still, if you take a step back and realize that of all the things that Lucy is going to be accomplishing over the coming years, it's completely crazy to see that it is at these price levels. So once again, I think a lot of big money does see the big opportunity with uh, Lucy behind the scenes. And I just want to put that in perspective. So I've shared this info with you in the past. So during Q4 2022, so this is updated information as of right now, there's 5.35 million call options that was being purchased by hedge funds, 27.6 million call options that was purchased by all 13 F filers. And not only that though, the number of ETFs, I like to monitor this um, exactly and kind of says about a sentiment as well behind the scenes. And previously, my last update, there was, I believe, 114. So now there is 117 ETFs holding Lucid. So once again, I see that as a pretty big deal, in my own opinion, of course, especially if you do couple that with a lot of the big buying that's been happening over the last little bit, it signals that there is a huge discounted level, or at least a lot of upside is anticipated with Lucid. So these are all the transactions on the secondary market. These are all the transactions on the dark pool. This one has started to slow down a little bit, but I'm not really too concerned because a lot of this is very much linked to shorts. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, when it comes down to shorts, they are still lingering with Lucid, but I'll give you a quick update on that while I'm here. So short score is currently 83, utilization is 100%. And on a side note, if you guys have any questions about any of this information, let me know in the comments below, be more than happy to address that. But when it comes down to what they are doing within the first about hour and a half of the trading day, they are increasing 2.14 million shares. So they're definitely very much just feeding off of the broader fears right now. 20.54% is the short interest, which is a percentage of the free float. 131.79 million shares is in fact still being shorted. 13.5% is the cost of borrow average. And I just want to show you this I'll go back over here for a second and as you can see there's a total of 1.04 billion dollars worth of shorts in lucid so a lot of people like to talk on short squeezes blah 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 but in reality, Lucid has had everything on paper to have a very good squeeze. This, the only thing that Lucid has really been missing out on is just a catalyst. And like I've been saying over the last couple of videos, I think in general, the next big catalyst for Lucid and probably for 2023 is in fact the gravity, but it will definitely be very much dependent on the price point. But of course, that's just my own interpretation. When it comes down to, for instance, the number of analysts, I was hoping that there'd be a little bit more that do jump on board, but it looks like that is it for the most part. I'll give you a quick overview of the sentiment because I'm a very big believer in clearly the data behind the scenes and also the sentiment. And as of right now, things are very much optimistic. So clearly a lot of people are liking this discounted price, but unfortunately, I think that might be existing holders because as you can see, based on momentum, number of retail investors are getting out. So clearly the long-term bag holders as well, a lot of people like to call uh, them, definitely are seeing a good value in Lucid at this price, but generally speaking, not a lot of newer investors are getting in. Stochastic is currently at eight, which is very, very oversold and no defined trend right now. So potentially if there is some good news that does come out, then in theory, Lucid could have a nice little bounce because of all that. And looking at RSI as well, it is currently at 38. So behind the scenes, and actually it did just turn very much green. So I think behind the scenes, people are seeing a lot of good value in 
and lucid despite the job uh, earning report that did come out today so at the end of the day what i always like to say is just think long term when it comes down to lucid because there is a lot of good things and good backing aka the pif behind them that is going to basically ensure lucid does succeed and years from now when people look back and wish that they bought this dip per se whether it be at six dollars eight dollars whatever it is then they definitely will be kicking themselves um, so i want to put it in perspective on in the short term how low potentially it could go or where things might go in general so as you can see it is below all the pivotal moving averages and it did bounce off of that 50-day moving average after failing to kind of get above that and unfortunately when it comes down to this stage you just have to look at a lot of the fibonacci to see where a lot of big support levels are so currently we are at eight dollars give or take so most likely we will be trading between this s2 and the s1 so seven dollars and 820 most likely is where it will continue to trade unless there's a broad kind of rally within the economy to get it and keep it above that eight dollar and 20 cent range but of course i could be very much wrong it does look like some of the major indexes right now as i'm doing this video is starting to go up a little bit so potentially that's a little bit more optimistic for lucid but like i said clearly number of retail investors are getting out today but behind the scenes big money is buying so it's just a mentality kind of thing right so let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below give yourself a shout out as well if you have been buying during this dip where you see things going and just if you are very positive on lucid or whatnot so let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that if you do like my lucid content want to support the channel take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen and one final thing as well if you do like for instance seeking alpha i do have a seven day free trial for you guys click on the link in the description below or the comments and uh, it does have a lot of good information all compiled in one has the news has also transcripts the sec filings makes things very very easy for a lot of individuals so once again take advantage of that free promo so without further ado i appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on lucid